Hello everyone and welcome to the third video in the series of getting organized with Google calendars. In the first video you learned how to subscribe to your teacher's calendars and you learned how to sync your phone to your calendar so that you could get text messages and updates about important events. In the second video I taught you how to find your task calendar. You can find your task calendar from your mail and once you see that your task calendar is there, you can also remember to access it in your Google calendars over here. So you can see the task calendar is available here. Think of the task calendar as a big to-do list. In the second video, I showed you how to install this extension over here in your browser so that you could see your task calendar from wherever you were on the web. Today, I'm going to show you how to take this great little task calendar and get it on your phone. So let's get going. So let's go over to the smartphone and see how we get the calendar app and the tasks on the phone. They're not the same thing. So you go over to the web store or to the Google Play Store if you've got an Android and find the Google Calendar app. It's free. Simply install it and then sign in. Once you've signed in to the app, you'll be able to see all of the calendars to which you have subscribed. But your task calendar, so your to-do list, is not on this list. That's why we need to do an extra step to get that calendar on there. So you can look at it a week view, or you can choose to see a three-day view. That's a little bit better. You can see all of the events that your teachers have there for you and what's due for today, tomorrow, next week. Remember that if you have synced your phone to your calendar, you're going to get notifications. So now let's look and see how we get the task calendar on the phone. Well, you have to just open up a browser and go over to mail.google.com forward slash task. And once you do that, if you're already signed in, you should get something that looks like this. You're going to get your task calendar that comes up here. And from here, how you get it onto your phone is just simply add to home screen. Now this is what you do in Safari. You won't be able to do this with a Chrome browser. So once your task calendar is added to the home screen, then you get that little icon right there. Simply click on the icon, open it up, and get to your to-do list or your task calendar. You can mark off items as already done. That feels really good. Let's see, I've studied for my history, check. Studied for math, check. I can clear my completed tasks and see them all disappear and that's a tremendous sense of satisfaction. I can add new tasks as well from this app on my phone raise money for JDRF. We know that's a good cause and that's coming soon. And so that's just really cool to know that I can add tasks from both my calendar on my laptop and from my phone. So ladies and gents, so that's video number three in how to get organized. I really hope that you're watching these videos because I know that they're going to help. An organized student is a successful student. The secret to being organized is that it reduces the stress. When you know what you've got to do and you know what's coming and you've got your calendars and your to-do lists and your phone is talking to you, keeping you organized, how can you do anything but be successful? So good luck and stay tuned for video number four.